cannot believe that it is already our last day in Istanbul. Every time we get to a new place, my thoughts are always, I'm not ready to leave. But I am very excited to see another part of Turkey and that we don't have to leave the country as a whole. When we had our Turkish bath, the owner said to check out this restaurant called Seven Hills. Apparently it has a really nice terrace overlooking some of Istanbul. So we're gonna go check it out. This little mini bazaar is like two minutes from our place and of course we didn't know because it's the one way we didn't come. <laughs> We just met the owner of a Turkish carpet and rug store, and that is now the second time that I've heard that I look Turkish. I'll take it. <laughs> On top of the terrace at the restaurant, we ordered a traditional Turkish breakfast, which is just a huge spread of a variety of different foods, and I'm so ready to tear it up. Apart from that, we've got incredible views of the whole city. On one side is the Hagia Sophia, on the other is the Blue Mosque, then you have the Bosphorus, and all the way across the sea you can see Asia. So, this was an excellent recommendation, and I really appreciate the owner of the Turkish bath giving us this. We just got brought our traditional Turkish breakfast, and they just kept handing plates out. I thought they were done, and then they came back with like another five or six dishes. This is so much food. It's the call to prayer. It's so amazing that it just illuminates throughout the whole city of Istanbul. You can hear it all the way on the Asian side as well. So they have leftovers and they let you feed the birds. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's kind of fun. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I don't condone feeding wild animals, but also I love it at the same time. <laughs> that was an amazing experience. It really was. Not only is it a phenomenal breakfast and probably the best we've had yet, yeah. but just the whole traditional Turkish meal, it's, it, it's an experience in itself. Ready. After that huge Turkish breakfast, we needed to just go lie down for a couple hours. But we checked the ferry schedule, and it looks like the main ferry is about every 15 minutes, and it's gonna bring us from the European side of Istanbul to finally the Asian side. We're very excited to go check out a new part of the city. And it'll be our first time in Asia. Yeah. So that's really exciting. New continent today. Based on our location, to get pretty much anywhere in the city, we have to walk past the Blue Mosque and the Hagia Sophia. And honestly, it never gets old. I love staring at them. Hunter keeps trying to say Hagia Sophia, and he keeps saying <laughs> Hagia Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> like every time he just did it four times in a row, no fail. <laughs> Been butchering yeah. names left and right. Well, we're at the ferry dock. We're just trying to figure out how to get tickets. I think it might be up this way. It 
doesn't take 100 liras, only anything less. And I think we're gonna have it. Three. I think we got it. <laughs> we got a card that allows, I think, three uses. I wasn't planning on getting that, but it worked. I mean, it cost less than two dollars for both of us. And now we're just waiting for the ferry. Oh, this is really cool. We're going to Asia. We're going to Asia. New continent by ferry is just too Wild. cool. It's beautiful on the ferry. It is. The breeze is wonderful. No matter how big or small it may be, I love being on a boat. Just about there. Our first steps in Asia. So I was reading that most of the historical sites and the main tourist area is definitely on the European side and that the Asian side is more just neighborhoods and a standard way of life. Right now, we're just passing like industrial fishing ports. So nothing very impressive at the moment. But I think we're gonna head to Katakoi. It's supposed to be one of the more well-known neighborhoods. It has a local market and a beautiful mosque. So we're gonna go check it out. Finally made it to Katakoi. I don't know what street we're on, but it's actually pretty sick. Hop it. Overall, I've never been to an Asian fish market, but from my understanding of it, this feels much more like that than the Europe side of Istanbul. It also feels very local. I really haven't seen many tourists, maybe a, a handful, but overall, it's uh, a wee bit chaotic in the best way. And a little bit smelly. Yeah. Pretty much what I always pictured. Yeah. When we were reading what to do here on the Asian side of Istanbul, they said one of the best things is to eat some food. And you know we love to do that. So. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This is Salat. We just started ordering a bunch of things. We didn't know what anything was called. They spoke very little English, but they definitely understood what we wanted. And we got two main dishes, some rice, some soup, some bread, a drink, and it was six US dollars. Well, that food was... Okay. Just okay? Yeah. It looked 
so much better than it tasted. But yeah, that's okay. Agreed. You win some, you lose some. Can't win them all. We did see some ice cream that Alicia I think is after and I saw like a donut looking thing. I'm gonna try and find it again. My inner tourists are tingling. We found the Katakoi bull statue. I'm really not sure why it's famous or if it has any significance at all but I read that it's one of the top tourist attractions on the Asian side so Glad we saw it. Looks pretty good. All right, here we go. It smells good. It's like a mini donut. I had a feeling. It's perfect. Mm. This has been such a wonderful experience. This side of the city has a completely different feel to it than the European side. It really does. It's, I mean, I know we've never been to anywhere else in Asia, but it really has more of an Asian vibe for sure. Absolutely. The sun is coming down and it's just absolutely beautiful right now. We still have like a 35, 40 minute walk back to the ferry. So we're gonna head back now and hopefully get a beautiful sunset. Suya düştü, su duruldu Dediler yarın de gelmiş İnce de bellerin kırılsın Tel tel tellerine Kurban olan dillerine Suya düştü, su Goodbye for now, Asia. It was wonderful to meet you. I feel like we could have spent so much more time on the Asian part of the city. I mean, this city is massive. I genuinely had no idea how yeah, big it, it was. And it's so beautiful. There's so much to see. But unfortunately, our time in the city has come to an end. So we decided to go back to our Airbnb, pack our bags, and get prepared for our big travel day tomorrow. But fortunately, we don't have to leave the country of Turkey just yet. We yep. get to go see another part of it. And we are so excited because we've heard amazing things about this next location. Tell, tell.